Hey guys, this is Nick and welcome to my Linux experiment. So, a specific feature request has been garnering a lot of attention recently on the Adobe forums for porting Premiere to Linux and I think we should take a look at the ins and outs of this. So first is the feature request. Uh, this feature request has reached more than 7,000 votes in a few days, uh, putting in on the very top of the Adobe User Voice forums. It was mainly helped by the promotion of Jason Evangelo, uh, which is a tech writer for Forbes with a pretty large Twitter following. It received so much help, in fact, that it was actually triggered. Uh, it triggered the spam filter for uh, the Adobe User Voice forums, and uh, well, it got taken offline for a few hours, just the time for them to reassess if it was legit or not. Uh, what it basically asks for is to port Premiere to Linux, and this time actually Adobe gave a response. Uh, they noticed the request. And uh, they gave a constructive reply by Patrick Palmer, which is the principal product manager for uh, Adobe uh, video editing software. Uh, he left a response on the thread uh, indicating that while the feature request was noted and taken into account, it would not automatically prompt a Linux port. Uh, it would prompt a market analysis first, just to see if a Linux port would be feasible now compared to before. Uh, Palmer apparently has experience with porting stuff to Linux. Uh, and as he says in his answer, he underlines an important point Porting to Linux is not porting to one system, it's porting to multiple OSs, since you have to support the major distributions and a few specific uh, package formats. So it requires work. I have a few thoughts on the matter. First, I, don't, I think the Linux ecosystem has never been more ready. I think uh, the platform, Linux as a platform, is ready to greet such applications, professional applications, such as the Adobe Suite and Adobe Premiere. Uh, with Steam Play, Valve proved that there was interest, a lot of interest, for people to switch to Linux, to use Linux to do stuff that they could not do before. And second, the distribution of software is more than ready now with flat packs and snaps, uh, which allow easier distribution to multiple distributions without supporting devs, RPMs, or install scripts for Gen 2 or anything. And I think they could still use Wine, because Wine is a good, is in a good place right now. It works well. If you can play The Witcher 3, I don't see how you couldn't launch and use uh, Adobe Premiere or any other Adobe software. Second, uh, Premiere and the Adobe Suite in general is considered the last missing link for many professionals and people to move to Linux. Whether that's true or not remains to be seen, but for people heavily invested in the Adobe platform, using something else is simply not possible. They have their workflows in place, they have their tools, they have their creations, years of archives, certain codecs they use, and most importantly, they have complete integration with the rest of the Creative Cloud suite. And this integration is what brings me to my third point. Uh, Porting Premiere by itself, I think, will not be enough and would actually be damaging to the Linux brand and the Linux image in the eye of professionals. The Adobe Suite is an integrated whole. You can use what you made within any program inside another. So giving these users only Premiere will require them to go back to Windows or Mac to create a transition with After Effects, for example, or some graphics with Photoshop. So you're basically missing on the whole point of the Adobe Suite, which is great integration between the software. And that extra step defeats the purpose. Uh, if you have to switch back to another OS, why wouldn't you just stick with this OS in the first place? Why would you move to Linux? I don't know. I just wouldn't use Linux in these conditions. Porting only Premiere will not bring the hardcore video editing crowd uh, to Linux, while well, the main focus of Adobe, and the main source of revenue for them as well, and that would probably result in a lack of revenue for Adobe, and a cancellation probably of their plans on Linux. So I would very much like Adobe to port the whole suite to Linux, even just Premiere, just to test the waters. But I would very much like them to take their sweet time with it, rather than do a half-hour port, uh, release it like that, and after a few months say, hey, nobody bought it, nobody subscribes on Linux, so we're just going to can the project and never look at it again. I think the time is right, I think the platform is ready, and I think the missteps of Windows 10 and the extremely high prices of Macs are making Linux a very tempting alternative for professionals. So me personally, I would probably not use Premiere. Uh, I don't use it now since I'm on Linux and I'm making videos about Linux for Linux users. So why would I push people to move to Linux if I cannot do the whole work I do on that same platform? That would just make no sense. So of course I'm using open source software to do what I do. And uh, I think it, if it was released on Linux, I would probably give it a fair shake. I would try it, but I don't think I would switch to it unless Kaden Life completely dies or uh, as a project or just becomes completely unusable, buggy mess. Uh, I, mean, I mean, more than a buggy mess than it already is. So what do you think about this? Would you use Premiere or would you use any Adobe programs on Linux for that matter? If they are made available, let me know in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this little opinion piece and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. 
If you enjoyed, please consider liking, subscribing, and turning on notifications. You can also follow me on Twitter at the Linux EXP. Thank you guys for watching, and goodbye.